What's going on my super fam? Okay, so as you've seen from the title of the video, there is a little bit discussed regarding some of the things that may be coming in patch 5.0 guys. So there are interesting news that we're going to be discussing a little bit. Obviously, some of it is not going to be official yet, but it's more or less going to be rumors and stuff. So, you know, take it everything with a grain of salt from everything we're going to be discussing here in today's video. And well, so basically with that out of the way, let's just dive right into the video. Now, first off, what I want to discuss is regarding the graphic update that whole Universe or you know the Genshin Impact official page has released. I think this is a little bit late, so some of you have already seen it. But obviously, I kind of want to have my input on that as well. So basically, from what they are saying in patch 5.0, there is going to be some graphical update to what the game, and technically speaking, some you know lower devices are going to have their graphics pretty much reduced. And technically speaking, from what I am guessing here, there are a lot of devices, especially mobile right now, is going to have a lot of trouble running the game or downright straight ain't going to be able to play it. Now, this is something that I think it's going to be happening sooner or later because right as the game move forward, obviously Hoyoverse is going to do something regarding upgrading the gaming graphics. But the biggest question here is more or less going to be how much of a difference will that make to what the game? Because as you have seen from many of the quality of life updates, in the game, uh, especially for the graphics, uh, not all of them actually has a significant graphical update, right? Like in patch 4.4 or patch 4.3, if I didn't remember correctly, then you know the dynamic character resolution update to the game, which is one thing that graphical updates that Hoyoverse actually put their effort into, didn't really change much, right? So in terms of how big of a difference is it going to be, or are they giving us more kind of like a shader, like the Nvidia shader that we're going to be having? Is that going to be a light more or less into the game regardless of you're having an nvidia graphic card or not right is the game going to be looking as good as you having you know implemented the reshade those kind of things are going to be a very huge update that i can definitely understand that that's going to take a lot out of the older devices however if at the end of the day there aren't too much of a difference and then they're just technically cutting out some of the older devices to kind of like force you to upgrade your devices as you go that's going to be a bit of a sad situation for the older devices right but obviously at this point in time the information is just too big so definitely we can't really make any of a discussion here that much and we just have to wait until patch 5.0 come closer however more of a bigger thing that we want to discuss here in today's video is regarding the rumor of character having up all the way to level 100 now this is going to be an interesting update and does affect a game quite a bit if that is going to be a reality however even though this is only rumor right now i might myself still think that this is going to be a very high chance because guys if you actually look into honey hunter website then since the very start of their existence there always has been talent level 15 right so if you're actually going to be questioning that then yes usually at the maximum talent level of a character right now even if you have constellation it goes to level 13 right so what does that talent level 15 actually means and yes it can only be one thing that character has to go all the way to another ascension level which at this point in time i believe is going to be level 100 and then that's the when you can actually maximize every of your character to tell at level 15 if you do have their constellation that makes a lot of sense so yeah obviously since if character are going to be leveling up to level 100 you're going to have to start farming a lot of stuff once again that's going to be one thing that changes a lot which is going to be a big of a grind again then there is going to be changes obviously to character damaging number we're obviously going to be seeing a lot higher numbers from all of your character because obviously if these numbers goes all the way to for example i think this goes all the way to talent level 12 if you get a character to level 100 and you're at basically a c0 then that's probably going to be talent level 12 but therefore overall characters are going to be doing higher number as you can see then obviously that also leads to the fact that world level also increases therefore a little bit stronger mob which begs the question of whether or not you know the abyss is going to be doing a revamp or you know the enemy's character level cap is going to be a lot higher you know 
right now, I think it's around level 100. If they're going to be increasing that, then I guess that is going to be a cap of around 130, I would say. But the biggest change is if character actually goes toward level 100, it's going to be affecting character that actually scales with HP and EM, right? So usually we already know that any of the character, especially character that scales with HP, you want to level them all the way up to level 90 and obviously character that scales with EM, right? So these characters are definitely going to be taking a lot of advantage off of that, much, much more than character that scales with attack percentage. So I don't know how big of a difference that's going to make to what those kind of scaling character, but as far as we know, it's going to definitely affect HP and EM scaling character. Now, all of this sounds pretty nice, right? We get more content. Uh, character level cap is going to go to level 100 if that is going to be the case. That seems nice and all. However, if they aren't going to change anything toward, you know, farming for level 100 or contents that requires you to have your character to level 100, here's my point. I don't think that's going to change much in terms of how you actually enjoy Genshin Impact. Because right now, trying to get to level 90 is such a pain in the ass already of you having to farm all of these material guys, right? And then you having to farm all of the Mora and XP book for you to actually get to level 90, not to mention talent level, right? If Home Universe ain't gonna be adding anything fun to actually incentivize us to level all of our characters to level 100, I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference to how much of a boredom we have to farm all the materials at this point. Right guys, so that's that's actually my biggest issue right now. Like, right, so there has to be kind of like an achievement that you get for like, you know, for example, if I'm a Kuching main, then if I actually want to get level 100 achievement Kuching, for example, I have to solo clear all of the world boss in order for me to maximize coaching level right so that's kind of something kind of like a challenge a bit of a challenge for those of you who are actually very committed to get your character to level 100 but that's definitely going to be much more of a fun challenge for us to go through and that makes a lot more sense so definitely everything is just going to be a rumor at this point in time we still have to wait more or less you know in future patches to see whether or not it's going to be a confirmed thing or if it is a confirmed thing how is it going to change in terms of how we approach in terms of farming for the character to reach their maximum level? And then one last thing I want to touch on is basically regarding, you know, the end game. So end game rumor has been, you know, circling the Genshin Impact community for quite some time now. And again, there is going to be rumor that a new end game probably going to be coming in around patch 4.7 or something. And it's going to be a lot similar to the Triumph uh, Frenzy event that we got in patch 4.4. Now, technically speaking, I did not actually have too much of an expectation toward the end game for Genshin Impact because man, how long has we been waiting for a new end game for the game? Right, so at this point in time, as long as they add some kind of fun end game that we can play to Genshin Impact, I think I'm just gonna take it and enjoy it. So if you are somebody who actually went through Triumph Frenzy event before, I think you kind of already enjoyed the event. Me personally, I really did enjoy the event. So if they are going to be expanding that into technically kind of an event, um, limiting the character usage, and then forcing us to actually think hard in terms of which team we're going to choose and tackling each of the flaws that there's going to be it's going to be a pretty fun challenge because we have already tried out the triumphant event before and i really really like the concept so if that's going to be the case i really welcome this change on top of the abyss right so that you know it's going to be on equal terms with honkai star rail of having moc and pure fiction at this point in time so yeah at least another end game kind of thing is going to be a lot more fun for us to be using different character of ours and so guys i think that's everything i have to say regarding this video are uh, obviously there are going to be a lot more rumors coming as we move toward patch 5.0 uh, i don't really want to discuss too much so that we basically avoid leak at this point in time but if there's anything i can discuss and can touch on obviously i'm going to be discussing about it so if you have any discussion just leave it down in the comment section and i would love to discuss with you down there really appreciate you guys staying with me to this part of the video guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as i post a lot of Genshin impact on Star and obviously withering wave is going to be coming i'll be posting videos on that too with that i wish you a super day and i'll catch you on my next video